Okay, let's go ahead and start a new part. Standard.ipt create. Ignore your warnings. Before we begin drawing, we're going to set up uh, a grid in the background. So on your tabs at the top, go to tools and then document settings and then go to the tab that says sketch and for snap spacing change it to 0.125 for both the x and y uh, values 0.125 inches Okay, and then hit close. Okay, so then go back into tools, uh, application options, and then go into sketch, and then make sure grid lines is checked. Okay, right here under display, make sure grid lines is checked. Press OK. All right, so let's go back to 3D model. Start 2D sketch. You can choose any plane you want. Uh, I generally choose the XY plane. Now we have a grid uh, the, where every square, the height and width of every square is an eighth of an inch. So this is going to help us with our two to one scale drawing. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to draw uh, the shape. Here we go. Grab your line tool. I'm going to go up every two squares is half an inch. There's one inch. And if you notice, the, the grids have a snap. So it actually, when you click on it, it'll go to where you want to go. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get it approximately correct. That's the point of having the grids. This is helping you draw the shape approximately correct. Make sure all your lines are horizontal or vertical. Notice the perpendicular symbol pops up. If you're not sure if one of your lines is horizontal, you can use the horizontal constraint tool. And if you click on the line, it becomes horizontal. Or uh, the vertical constraint tool. If you drew a line and it was not vertical, you can click on it and it'll become vertical. This one already was, so this warning says, oh, you already did this. So you say cancel. All right, at this point, I'm gonna throw on my dimensions. So go to my dimension tool, click on the line, and I'm gonna try to dimension it properly. I'm actually going to go from, so if you make a mistake, right, uh, let's say I put this in and I don't want it to be there, I can actually right click on it and, oops, I still have my dimension tool on, hit escape. Now I can right click on it and delete it. Okay, so let's try it again, dimension, I want my common reference point to be uh, the bottom of the shape. Well, let's check. Our yeah, our common reference point is going to be the bottom of the shape. So let's go from bottom to top. Pull it out. That dimension looks good. And then from this line to the 
Oh, I said to the bottom. I messed up. Escape. Grab your dimension tool again. From this line to the bottom. 0.75. From this edge to the bottom. 0.50. And then last one. There you go. Okay. My horizontal dimensions, I'm going to have this line as my common reference point. So let's do the top part. Five. This line. And notice it's turning blue. When it, your shape is completely blue, that means you fully dimension it and fully constrained it. So it can't be adjusted at all. Uh, this one. Dimension is 0 0.45, and this is 0.25. So we're good to go. So when you're done, it's all blue. Hit finish sketch. Okay, this is the bottom layer. You can hit the home uh, image next to the navigation cube. This is the base layer and the thickness of that base layer is a quarter inch so i'm going to extrude and then the default is an inch change to 0.25 hit enter okay now i need to also draw the part that pops out so i'm going to start a new sketch on top of this sketch and before I begin drawing, I'm going to hit Project Geometry. And what Project Geometry does is it allows you to select lines or shapes that you can that you want to copy directly on top of. So notice it turned yellow. Now when I draw on top of it, I'm going to get green dots telling me that yes, you are uh, directly in line with other um, lines in the other geometry. So I'm look, making sure I get a green dot everywhere I go. There we go. Finish sketch. Notice I have two sketches. If I come to my browser, sketch number two I just did. Sketch number one is inside the extrusion. If I open up the extrusion, you see sketch number one. So I've got two different sketches. So now I'm going to extrude sketch number two. It's asking, what is your profile? What do you want to extrude? So this little blue blue box with an arrow. I'm, I need to select inside the L. Sometimes you have to zoom in to make sure that you're, you're selecting the right part, but it should uh, become shaded or unshaded when you click on it. And the software is kind of smart. This time it knew I wanted to go 0.25, hit the check mark, and I'm done. And now I just have to color it. So if you want to look, this is the front view. If you click on the top of the navigation cube, you get the top view. Go back to the front, and then if you flip it, you get the right view. 
in the isometric.